the largest toothed mammals on our planet. Sailors used to fear these animals as legendary monsters of the deep. Hunted by humans over the course of several centuries, they were viewed as prey and adversary. These graceful social creatures have been known to destroy ships. In the past, vessels as large as 200 tons have been sunk. The hull rammed by the head of an attacking sperm whale at great speed. Their power is unmistakable. Yet these are creatures still wary of human contact. It is rare to be able to approach a group of them socializing at the surface. Watching them at play, it may be hard to recall exactly what it was that we once feared. In the past, human beings have been all too eager to harvest these majestic creatures, even while knowing very little about them. We know little more today. Where do they go on their deep dives? How do they hunt? What do they experience down there in the darkest depths? The loggerhead turtle, tiny by comparison, is not afraid. He is eager to pick up scraps. The remains of a deep water octopus, leftovers from a sperm whale's lunch. These are creatures worthy of our curiosity, our respect, and our protection. There are others at home in the open ocean. Other whales who filled the seas with their haunting songs. Humpback's migration routes are as much as 7,000 miles, making them some of the greatest long-distance travelers in the ocean. The humpback whale is a global traveler riding the currents on its annual migration from feeding grounds to breeding grounds. More buoyant than adult humpbacks, calves will often rest tucked under the bodies of their mothers to keep from rising to the surface. The calf must surface to breathe more often than the adult. Eventually, it will be able to hold its breath for as long as 45 minutes at one time. But for now, 
15-minute intervals between trips to the surface are all this 12-week-old calf can manage. The bond between mother and calf is strong, and they will stay together for the first year of the calf's life. The mother will take the calf on his first migration, starting in the tropics where the calf was born. The calf will journey thousands of miles with his mother and the members of his extended family to reach the cold, rich waters near the poles. things that we really did right with the humpback whale mother and calf was that we were able to find the same mother and calf every day. So we were able to gain confidence in each other and by the end of the trip, I'll never forget sitting right underneath the mother's tail. I mean, she could have just gone <laughs> like that. Uh, but there was this mother, huge thing right above me and the baby just comes in that was the kind of rapport that we were able to develop with these whales over the period of time. I looked at my logbook the, book the other day, and 12 out of 14 days on that trip we spent with this mother and calf. We've got that 